Welcome to episode four in our beginner guitar series. In this episode, we'll be learning all the natural notes on our first four frets of the guitar. Let's go over our natural notes and the distances between them. In music, we name notes through the letters. And if you know your alphabet from A to G, then you've got all your notes down. So in, we have distances between these notes, and those are in whole steps and half steps. A whole step is denoted with a little underscore type thing like that, and half step with a line. We'll go over what these mean on the guitar in a bit, but first let's just figure out the distances between all of our notes. From A to B, we have a whole step. From B to C, we have a half step. C to D is a whole step. D to E is another whole step. E to F is a half step. F to G is a whole step. And G to A, because it loops here, is another whole step. So now let's see how these work on the guitar. Now there's only two things we need to memorize, right? There's a half step between B and C, and a half step between E and F. Let's start with E. This is our low E string on the guitar. The distance between E and F is a half step, which means that it's the smallest distance that you can go on the guitar. That's one fret away. If E is our open string, then our F is right there. Alright? Let's go on. F to G is a whole step, which means we're moving two half steps. That's two frets up. F to G is right there. G to A is a whole step. We could imagine that going below this fretboard here, A would be on the fifth fret up there. But we've also got open A, so we're just going to look at that one for now, alright? So now we've looped back to the beginning here. And we're back at A to B. A to B is a whole step, so we're going to go two frets up. And there's our B. B to C is one of those two half steps that we need to memorize. So that's just the very next fret. C to D is another whole step, and you can see once again it would land on the fifth fret here. So we're just going to play that open, alright? So C to D, and now I've got E to F. Sorry, D to E. D to E is another whole step. One, two, and we're on the second fret there. E to F, we've already seen that before, on the low E string, this is another half step. So we've got F right there. F to G is a whole step. You see that would appear under what we have here, and we've got it open. G to A, is a whole step, so we've got that on the second fret. A to B is a whole step. We can put it here. But we've also got an open B here. So let's move on from this open B string, alright? B to C is a half step, so it's the very first fret. C to D is a whole step. D to E, we've seen this before. D to E is the whole step, it would land right on our 5th fret, we've got an open E string. So let's go from there. In our open E string, we've actually seen that before, down low. So this is just going to be the same thing. E to F, half step, F to G, whole step. And these are your natural notes across the guitar. So we're going to be looking at our open E string first. Now, what comes after E in the alphabet is F. The distance from E to F is a half step. After our open E, the very next fret would be our first fret. So this is F, a half step away from E. After F comes G, and the distance from F to G is a whole step. So we're going to go two frets away. So F, G. Now, as I said before, our notes only go up to G, and then once you reach G, you just loop back to A. So the note after G is A. The distance from G to A is another whole step. So we go G, two frets up, to A. G, A. Now we also have an easier way to play A, 
we could play our open string. There's A, and you can hear they sound the same. Our next note after A is B. A to B is a whole step. So here's our open A, first fret, second fret, and there's B. A, B. B to C is a half step. B, the very next fret, C. And now we've actually figured out all of our half steps. We've got a half step between B and C, and that half step before, between E and F. These are the only half steps you need to know. All the other ones are going to be whole steps. Let's still find our, rest, our way along the rest of the instrument, though. We were at C. The next letter is D. And this one is a whole step away, just like I said. So C to D. Now we have an easier way to play D as well, which is our open string. The next one is E. So E, or sorry, D to E, another whole step. And now we've, we're back to this E, F, right? And we found out that that was a half step before. So E, very next fret, F. F to G, well we found out that was a whole step before. So F to G there. And now we can find our way along the rest of the instrument pretty easily. We're going to go G to A, another whole step. A to B, another whole step. B to C, this is one of our two half steps. Here's our B. And there's C. We've also got our B string here, so we're going to continue from there. C. C to D, that was another whole step. D to E, another whole step. And we've also got our open string, E. E to F, that was one of our two half steps. So we go to the very first fret, and you can see, because this is our open string, it's the exact same as our low E string. E, F. And then F to G, another whole step. And we're going to stop there, because that has covered our four first frets along all strings. Now, it's a great exercise to try and write this down and read from it while playing, but what is really good to try and do, try and learn how to play all of your natural notes from memory without having to look at a chart. It'd be really helpful to name them as you go, too. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> so, try just practicing that upwards and downwards. So we're going to go G, F, E. Now this might be a bit trickier because you're having to think ahead, right? G, F, E, go backwards, and then D is here. You have to think, okay, I need to find D, right? Well, I know it can't be on this string because I've already run out of space here. Here's my E. So it has to be on my B string. So you have to think ahead and think B, C, D. So here's D. So we're going to go G, F, E, D, C, B, and then we have to think ahead again. A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E. Okay? If you had a bit of trouble figuring that out, you can rewatch the section where I went carefully over every note on our fretboard across the first four frets and use that on the way back down as well. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.